My name is Tom Hitchson. And I'm Jeff Ridgway. We found it would be nearly impossible to meet with all of you individually. So we figured we'd make a video to introduce ourselves to show you why you should vote for us on November 8th. Both of us are lifelong residents and graduated from Shalk in 2007. He inherited his father's house and I purchased property that I hope to build a home on. We grew up here, we live here, and we plan to stay here. You can say that we have an invested interest in the township because we know what it was, we know what it is, and we know what the township could be. I'm an operator with IUOE Local 825. I've been doing general construction for most of my life. I'm a certified public accountant that specializes in the audits of local governments, which includes townships. One of our biggest concerns, and I'm sure it's yours too, is taxes. What exactly are we getting, and why does it constantly feel like we're not getting our dollars worth? We hope to bring more transparency to where our money is going and try to put it to better uses. I'd rather see our money go towards the community in which we live, rather than, say, legal costs. Legal costs have been consistently high since 2013, and even financial administration salaries and wages have gone up 30000 in just the past year alone. We don't have much going. We have no public utilities, no police force, no trash cleanup. So why does it seem like this line out of increases every year? Speaking of where our money is going, I don't know if any of you have seen the township municipal building doors. They just awarded the contract this summer for replacing those. For about $65,000. I would love to see the specs on this project and why we need to spend such a large amount of money. Which, I mean, believe us, we get it. It's, it's local public contracts law, which applies to every municipality in the state of New Jersey. But, I, you know, why don't you just not award the contract and maybe revise the bid specs so it doesn't cost as much? But hey, if that were to happen, we could use those funds to pave the Unity Park walking track that was included in the capital budget. But, you know, the projects in the capital budget are just there to show potentially what could be done. Speaking of capital projects, remember the one uh, regarding paving Big Oak Road? The one that we received NJDOT grant funding for? Yeah, and then after the engineers were paid, they never put the project out to bid, and the funding was lost? Yeah, I mean, it's a shame to see $150,000 just lapse. See? Things like this are the reason we decide to get involved. See, our taxes are going up, and situations like these arise. We'd like to see some economic development take place in our township to increase our rateables and to offset any budgeting needs while maintaining our local purpose tax rate. In 2007, an urban redevelopment plan was adopted to encourage new businesses and improvements to be made within the township. A part of this was a demolition of the grain mill on Landis, which was acquired through tax lien foreclosure in January of 2006. That's 10 years ago. It's still standing. They only just applied for CDBG funding this year for phase two. Not to mention that redevelopment plan actually offers long-term tax exemptions to any participating developers. But, you know, I don't think anybody's even aware that this exists. I don't think anyone in the township even knows we have a tax abatement policy. The application for the five-year tax abatements aren't even on the township's website. It's, it's a general state form that is on the state division of taxation's website, but there's no reference on it through the township at all. So, anyway, those are just some of the things we're interested in improving upon for our township. We may be young, but we're competent as hell. All that we ask when you go into the voting booth on November 8th that you check the boxes for Thomas Gregory Hickson Jr. and Jeffrey T. Ridgeway Jr. We're, we're here, here to, to help. help. So, that was a lot harder than I thought. Yes, it was. That took a lot longer than it was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to cut this down. <laughs> I got to make this like a three to five minute video. If I just cut everything I said. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yes, you would. Nah. Yeah.